<laughs> anyway, you ready? Uh, I'm starting recording. <laughs> oh. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Space with me. The um, Dragon Space Monkey Claw. <laughs> 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 uh. Oh, I'm, I'm honest, I'm sane. Yeah, and you just sort of left that as it was sort of like a segue. I thought, wait, that's my line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <Well? laughs> Where's the script again? <laughs> um, yeah. Well, we're thirty seconds in, so. Uh, Hello. Anyway, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know, we're, we're changing names and identities and yep. channels. We're just gonna say for legal reasons. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I've got so much money, I don't know what to do with it. Eh? I've got so much money, and I don't know what to do with it. Spend it. I have nothing to spend it on. <gasps> Can I give it to scientists? <laughs> Can they give me guns for it? <laughs> Can they give me guns? I want new and inventive ways to kill my enemies. Yay! You could just recklessly spend it. Oops. God damn it. Stay. There we go. Reckless, eh? That sounds fun. Oh yeah, what are you going for? Uh, C5 systems. Yeah, I just remember that. Uh, da, 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 da. Go, go In the meantime then, I will shall... Grab... Low entropy materials, which is the one that gets you the thingy. What's it called? Lasers. Uh, and the kinetic shielding after that. Although that's 14 turns. There. I'll go and get up low entropy technologies. Actually, yeah. let's go for persistent construction, because persistent construction should give me. Uh, what's it called? Yeah, a minus. Uh, plus 40% research. Per system. Then we'll go for... Very well. An earth hull. <clears throat> then non-baryonic filtering. Baryonic. You, you haven't got the maximum hull? Oh no, I've got the biggest hull. Oh, but, but you haven't... Yeah, there's something called inert hulls. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, it's pretty... I mean, <laughs> now is a bit late to be getting the biggest <laughs> ship you can. But hey, I've been doing quite impressively if I've not got the biggest ship. Yeah. <laughs> still don't know why my ships are still worse than yours, it's a bit bizarre. I don't know. Although in saying that, did you not get something with fire power, power boost? Me? Hmm. Uh, don't think so. Okay. My ships just have a ton of guns on them. Mm, okay. <laughs> Ton of guns, no defences? Uh, well now they've got some decent defences. <laughs> I'm curious, what is your defence? Um... Let's take an Agamemnon against your white dragon. Okay, I've got... Uh... 10,080... I mean, not 10... 1080... Uh... Deflectors. Deflector. Uh, so no... 1080 deflector? Yep. No shields, no missile defense, apparently. No, no, I've got some missile defense. 722. For my Agamemnon, it's 1363, 551, and 551. Okay. Um, and no yeah. armor. Okay, I've got one piece of armor. It gives 250 hit points. Yeah. What's your kinetic beam and missile? Uh, no kinetics, no missiles, but 2520 beams. Oh! Um, 788.9 kinetic, 31 th no, 3149.2 beam, and 1416.8 missile. Hmm. I suppose yeah. I haven't really upgraded to the latest beam weapons. Ah, uh, well, yeah, true. Um, but apart from that, I mean, my ships are pretty specialised. 15.4 power 6? 
Uh, 28 parsecs. Wow, <laughs> the hell's your ship so fast? I did put an engine on it. Yeah, so did I. Precision navigators. Oh, I was going to go for that one, but okay. No, I mean the Kionis. Well, I've got the best engine I can. Um, I've also put on... Uh, what is it? Uh, accelerated mag magnetics. Okay. Which gives me 15% laser damage absorbed and kinetic deflected and... Basically 15% defense to everything. Okay. I'm gonna move over for Karana then. Because I was gonna go for Kai Onos. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I'll move over to Karayana. Korana for um, anticipation. Okay. Because it looks like currently my fleet's a lot stronger than what's there. 32,348. Okay, so now I've upgraded my weapons. I've got 4,075 beams. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're gonna just pack it with laser weaponry, haven't you? Yep. About 20. Wait a minute, 4,000? Did you say? 4,000. Okay. Hmm. Uh, You've got a quarter more. Roughly. So I've got um, two quar three quarters of what you have in beams, but I've also got missile and kinetic. Yes, uh, I have no beam defense. I have a ton of kinetic defense and no missile defense. Ah. Hmm. So overall. Six and a half a dozen. <laughs> yep. Hmm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Ending turns there, I see. Yeah, I end turns very quickly because I can't really be bothered to manage my empire. Uh, I guess the degree I overmanage. Oh, I forgot to give this guy some production. I'll just click randomly until I feel I've done enough. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I'll just click randomly until I feel I've done enough. That's not what you want to hear from your, <laughs> you know, master and commander. Hey, it's worked so far. <laughs> yeah, but that's the slightly worrying thing. Is there something I'm missing? Yes, intelligence. Oh. Hmm. Ah, goody, a level up for... Person, worse than well steel. I could get cyber skilled, then go from cyber skilled into defense and Done that, build a get that. Um why can't you build that? Seriously, why can't you build that? You've got everything you need, right? Yeah, they just don't want to. Seriously, there's no reason why I can't build it. <laughs> it just says no. Oh, we don't have a Siderite. Ah, yes. Siderite. I'm just curious, do I have anything that you don't? I'm not really betting on it because you've pretty much got every planet in the universe, it seems. Resource? <laughs> I, I doubt you've got... You don't have anything... Yeah, 
At least not a, none of the big important ones type thing. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm just wondering if I have any Sid right Ah, oh, yeah, I probably do. At least one. Just looking at all the planets that don't have anything yet. Uh, two planets without something. Okay. Three, four, five. So it's possible I can have a monopoly. Well, if you got four or more, then you got monopoly. Yeah. Even if everyone else has four or more, it's still a monopoly, which is a bit bizarre. Mm. Her. I should probably upgrade my Reliant Robins. Yeah, that might be an idea. Well, since the last time. I don't remember when I last upgraded them. Oh dear, that was quite a while ago. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> when did you last upgrade them? Um, well, I've got Flak, which is two levels out of date. Yeah. And I think weapons that are two levels out of date. Yeah. Okay. An upgrade is required. Yeah, it, so it sounds that like you may need to upgrade at a little touch. Hmm. Crap, I mean that. Oh, well, whatever. We'll place that back in, and that'll take 13 turns for all of that to be finished. Now, and Warden will be up to scratch, effectively. Grab that, that. Uh, no need for AI labor. Actually, you know what? It might be a good idea to just get AI labor. Um, and self ref self ref <laughs> What? Self ref ref even. Ah, I see. I understand completely. <laughs> yeah, self replicating housing. Well, I am going to get C5 systems in one turn, and then I'm going to go for s side right, side right. The big ass? Yep. Uh... It comes with adaptive glue. <gasps> Yay! But why is everything adapting? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, the enemy's adapting. No, not again! The enemies are adapting, taxation is adapting, our freaking glue is adapting. No, glue, you have betrayed me. <laughs> uh, Eta. Eta. Oh god, there's many fleets to upgrade. Uh. There we go. Spend a bit more money on you, and you're upgraded. Um, apart from that, three more turns till we get the gem, or gem, gem. Anyway. There we go. The gime? Yeah, gime. Gime. The J. The J cloth. <laughs> Where's one of our ships gone? I wonder if such was just vanished somewhere. <gasps> oh, there it is. I'm blind, don't worry. Woo, my culture overthrew some of Pink's. <laughs> <laughs> my culture <laughs> overthrew some of Pink's. Uh, you know that Pink are almost dead. It's still an achievement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I possess force. Side right, sid right. Now allows. Yay, I'm starting to drown in your culture at Virgo. <gasps> ah, and do you know what? Sid Wright has given me the power to increase my culture even more. Bugger off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, is it you just stacking out the window going, nah, 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 look, I got more Sid Wright. My yeah. guys are all like, yay, Sid Wright! <laughs> uh, <sighs> I kind of want to get a better engine. <laughs> You and your engine. Mm. Don't waste too much room on an engine, remember though. 
Yeah, I know, but I mean, a bigger one, or, or a better one, will probably be smaller. Uh. Possibly. Let's compare it. That's 90, and that is 60. Okay, it's bigger. Yeah. So you're going for low entropy materials? Uh, currently I'm going for persistent um, scanning, I think it was. No, construction. To get more research and then go for stasis fields and then non baryonic filtering. Uh, okay, so I'll go for better lasers then. Okay, did you get the bigger fleets? Uh, yes, I did. I'll trade that with you. I think I you did. Bear. Yeah, I did. <laughs> you bear. Let me just queue up some stuff. Oh, okay. Oh. You could do that, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll do that. Mm. Whatever it is, I'll accept. Uh, you didn't get a C4 systems, or whatever it was yet. I should have. I don't think you did. What about? No. Not yet. I, I, I should have. It's the next one, C5. No, I, I've got room for 21 people. It works Howdy. for me. Okay, I need to go for another one then. Yay! <laughs> I've got it. Uh, I'll delay my weapons technology then to get it. Because if you look at my fleets, they're still at uh, 16. Hmm? Uh... They are indeed... I... 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 will try and give it to you. That's fine. Nothing that can really be done. It's just, uh... My version of it's a bit higher up. I should be able to offer it to you. There you go. Oh! I didn't know you got Galactic Trade Center. Yeah, I, I could just give it to you. Alright, I need the last one before I could get that one. Oh. Well, you, know. you have it now. I needed that one until I could see that one. Alright, so yeah. So what are we going to do about green? We're going to research when you ship. Bigger guns. That's the word. <laughs> Bigger guns are on the way, don't worry about that. Bigger things that you throw at the enemy and they go boom. What, yes. missiles? Yeah. They're on the way, don't worry about that, but what are we going to do? Are we going to, like, exit the alliance now? It's up to you. If we leave it, then we can build up the fleets quite a bit more. True. Well, if we rush in too quickly, we'll might be caught a little unprepared. I should be fine, I think, though. True. However, we don't know what to build because we don't know what weapons they're using. We think they're using projectiles, but they could be using missiles. They could be using lasers. Mm -hmm. They might have defenses against lasers, um, so they might be perfectly suited to defend against us. Sure. And I would like to be able to know what they're building so I can attack them and kill them. Yeah, kind of. But I don't mind waiting. It's up to you, I'm currently just thinking here. If I was playing this single player, I'd probably leave the Alliance right about now. It's going to take 10 turns for them to even acknowledge it. <coughs> yeah. And the position I'm in right now is a good one. Uh, give me a moment. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. In the meantime, you are now a fleet. 
Um, Zasmanos, are you good at constructing ships? Um, three turns. Yeah, the problem is Zasmanos is kind of flung all over the place doing everything right now. Uh, yes, we're going to turn you into a giant. I'll go like that. Hmm. So, what are you thinking anyway? You want to actually leave it or what? Well, I'm uh, thinking it might be a good idea to wait a little to get the. Um, what do you call it? Better ships weapons. built. More mm -hmm. ships. Okay, yeah, I can see that. I mean, I suppose we could retrofit them. Uh, we're fairly certain they're using kinetics, and. I don't know. I mean. It, it's hard to say. I mean, I would, in a. For me, it's kind of reckless to do this, but. I think it's. In our best interest to act quickly. Give me a moment. So, I'll buy that. I'll look at his ships right now. No, next turn it would be. Well, next turn I'll be able to look at um, ships over not enemy. Okay, so. I'll be able to do some scouting like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, leaving the alliance wouldn't mean declaring war on them. Mm -hmm. It would just mean that we could blockade them. I know. It also mean that they can blockade us though. Again, true. <sighs> da -da 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 -da. Um... I'm just trying to think here, it's like, suddenly I've got four more command points, what do I do with them? Haven't forgotten about that fleet around Pegasus, have you? Uh, no. Good. No, 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 no. I remember the, the fleet around Pegasus. That's quite a big one. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it's alright. It's fully mm. equipped, it just needs one more Agamemnon in it. Speaking of big fleets... Speaking of Agamemnon, I can build them in one turn. Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness, 15,000. No, 1,500, I mean, for construction. Okay, well I'm done. I've been done for a while. Okay, well I'm just been telling you now, there's a, power, there's a power with um, terraforming. Ah, oh, I can hmm? recruit new people. Can you? Yep. But can you? <laughs> well, not now. <laughs> now the turn's ended. Damn you, boy. Damn you. So, if that fleet stays over and not enemy, I'll have a quick spy at them. Doesn't that only work with enemy fleets? Nope. Oh, okay. To any fleet that orbits your system. So they're using kinetic missile, kinetic, and kinetic, with no laser defense whatsoever. Uh, no oh. laser um, thingies whatsoever. No shield. Uh, they're using they're using shields, but not much. They've got. Oh yeah, I can see them too. Oh, but some of you guys down here have shields, but. They They've almost got perfectly balanced ships. Yes, and that will be their downfall. Uh, what, what class of ship are you looking at? What's its name? Uh, one second. Dreadnought 13, 19, 19, and Destroyer 33. I'm looking at Dreadnought B17, and that's got a ton of beans. Whereabouts? Uh, over Lyra. 
Lyra, 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 Lyra. Uh, down bottom. Oh, oh, good gravy. Ah, yes, I see now. <laughs> Although I can't actually look at them. No, uh, they're so using we'll... lasers on one of their ships, and on the other one, it's kinetics and missiles. And then there's, you see Lonica? Just one minute. Uh, a couple of planets away from Lyra. Give me a moment. Gamma, okay. gamma, 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 chameleon. There we go. Now that's what a fully upgraded fleet is for me. What about us? Lonica. Lonica, Lonica, Lon It's one of their planets. Uh, Arab. Is that the wormhole near Lyra? I see light. Oh, right, yes, I see it now. Okay. Uh, that. I position my fleet there just to sort of. You know, a show of firepower. And look mm -hmm. at the fleet they brought to show <laughs> against me. Uh, 42,000. My, my fleet 14. has more command points. How, how do you have one more command point? I'm slightly lost at that. I think it might have been one of my traits that I chose. Hmm. Admittedly, it hasn't really come in handy. Uh, yeah, probably. Because, I mean, the good ships take two and four command points, respectively, and neither of which is one. a factor. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. You get, like, a missile boat in there. I could, but. I don't know, for their. Co for the cost. I mean, it takes, like, one turn to build them, and they die so quickly. I could have a Robin in one turn, and a Dreadnought in two. You and know like... you can actually build like multiple ships at once? Oh, yeah, that's true, I could forget. forgot about that. But still, I prefer bigger ships. Yeah, the big ones survive longer. Actually, sorry, scratch out, the big ones survive. Yep. <laughs> oh, let's have a look at Kerr. Grab that, put it up, and not again. There we go. Where's my most researchy planet? There we go. Did that adaptive taxation? God damn it. <laughs> God damn it! Adoption! Reminds me of my myself. Sacrifice of Angels LP. <laughs> the Bog, they're adapting! <laughs> Bogger! Okay, that's strange, but okay. Uh, I'll get back with that. Um, In one turn, Orange will be history. I think it's about the same for Pink, is it It not? is! They're both going to be wiped out on the same turn. Huzzah! Oh no! <laughs> Is that? Oh crap! <laughs> yep, that means we're not far away from the inevitable. Yeah, so will we just... Ah, uh, wait a minute. Who knows? Will we just break it right now then? Uh, we might as well get their defeat in this episode. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, will we just break their lines right now? Um... I I'm kind of tempted to wait one more turn just in case the game gives us a, like a diplomatic victory or something. I know, that's why I'm like, well, we actually change it. <laughs> I want to oh, kill the computer. You want to. Um, it's well, up to you, though. If you want the game to keep going, I'll, we can end it now. Uh, will we decide in the next episode? Um, I, I think we have to. Okay. It's too much of a decision to put into this one episode. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what What shall we do? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I think we'll end it there. So, until next time, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed. Yay. <laughs>